Hey guys, this video is going to be about this carbon fiber and 3D printed bipod that I made. It's made from these two tubes of carbon fiber I got off McMaster Car. I'll put these in the description below. Uh, the end, uh, the little feet on the end are 3D printed and so is the mount here. And this is, a, this is a case where 3D printing can do a lot of things that milling can't. This is a pretty in intricate part. It's got storage for your legs right here. And what I think I'll do, I'm not, I'm not completely satisfied with this design, I think I'll put a little groove in each of these and put an o-ring so it holds this a little more securely. But I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear a little uh, pop from the suction when you pull it off. And the same happens from, for these guys right here. And it mounts to a key mod rail. There's two pieces of key mod hardware in there. I don't know if you can see it. But it seems pretty sturdy, um, and uh, this is so the, the start as 12 inches. I cut it in half, so these are six inches each. And when I go prone, this is a pretty good height. I made this because I wanted to convert one of my AR-15s into more of a DMR build. So I think I'll get a longer rail, so I get a longer sight radius also. And as far as strength goes, it seems to do just fine. Um, and under under recoil, it's going to be pretty level, so it's just going to slide along here. Um, even if you press on it, all it does is push the legs further into there. Not, not further into there, but more securely. So if you listen, you can hear the, the pop of the suction. And it, it stays in there pretty good. Um, the retention on this part could be a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, um, this is going to be pretty cool when it's done. Uh, it weighs 1.38 ounces. I'll include a picture at the end of this video of this on the scale. Um, uh, I don't want to take it off right now, but it's very lightweight. Um, I know there's a lot of bipods out there, but many of them are heavy, or if you want a lightweight one, um, it's quite expensive. So this is a cheap option that's lightweight. The only thing you give up is adjustability, and it's not the most rugged design, but for the things I use it for, and I think what um, the things most people would use it for, uh, it's more than sufficient. So I'll uh, include a um, link to this part if you want to try and print that. Also the legs and the, the parts here. Uh, if you don't have a printer and you want me to make one for you, um, I'll drop me a line. I'll put my info in the description below. Uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.